hello leos welcome into my channel sage sunset healing tarot and i'm here with messages for leo sign sun sign moon rising sign venus sign so these are messages for you if you have leo in your chart especially if you are dominating and leo is your sun sign so we're going to get some messages for you to see what's more prominent in your vibration for today Thank you, Leos, for being here. Thank you so much for coming through. Let's get some messages for Leos. What's going on in Leo's energy oh, for today? Thank you so much. Thank you, guides, for providing these messages that will really connect with Leo be guiding and healing messages for leos on their journey messages of affirmation of confirmation of well-being of healing of confidence growth and development for leos thank you so much for giving pushing through <laughs> the best <laughs> the best messages for leos thank you so much leos for being here okay so I'm going to share with you the cards that came out. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. First card, the Four of Wands. The Wands are Leo's energy, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Queen of Wands, another big, huge Leo card, fire sign. Queen of Wands. King of Wands. Leo. Wow, I feel your energy is very dominant right now. You asked for this reading. So thank you for coming through. King of Wands, Leo energy as well. One of the cards that just flew out. So true to the essence of the card is the, the Knight of Swords. But we'll soon get to that. Justice card came out for you. Balance, justice, as it says. The Seven of Cups. The Lovers. And this flew out, just flew right out. Messages. So something may be coming into you, Leo, speedily. Uh, don't retract this maybe you need to go somewhere maybe you're on your way so don't turn back okay so these are the messages I got for you on this side I'm gonna put them aside for a minute and focus on this deck so Leah what I like to do is to ask you guys to really focus on this deck your intentions maybe any questions that you want answer to any Thing that you're not clear about direction healing any question that you you have anything that you're really dealing with focus your intention on this deck of cards while i shake my stones please give me some of some vibrant energy money career emotional healing and well-being for leonians going forward in this time prominent dominant messages in leo's vibration for the collective of leo's viewing this channel's messages for them thank you so much leo's coming through okay <sighs> okay bone boundaries like a wall what's that could be an earth sign is someone standing in your way or someone guiding you an earth sign earth signs are Virgo Taurus Capricorn I feel like there's maybe a, is there a blockage I'm not sure there's love there's expression of self coming through Leo's are connecting possibly with their intuition and then some pentacles mm. I feel like it is saying I just feel like there's some there's there's something there's an obstacle a boulder in your way or maybe it's something that is guiding you strongly forward Leo 
So you have the king and queen of wands, magical energy. Someone looking to you as if maybe that's your soulmate because we do have the lover's card here. So someone that really matches your energy in work, in creativity, in divinity, in how you guys prosper together. So there may be someone coming in to offer something to you. What could that be? Let's find out. As if someone's coming in to claim you as their own. Our justice is being served. Maybe you were married to someone and uh, uh, justice. Either it is a reunitement of a twin flame energy or it is a separation. But something is coming in speedily. Someone is going with their intuition. Following their heart. Realizing how powerful their intuition plays a part in their lives. In the choices that they make. Get into the reading now. First card we have for Leo. Going off. The full card feels like splendor going off to serve, maybe to serve your purpose. That's the first thing that came to mind. Going off to serve your purpose, following your intuition, trusting, blind faith, traveling, movement. As if there's a bigger calling. There is the king of wands. And the queen of wands. And the lover's card. And someone going off with their intuition. Following a calling. A beckoning a calling. Maybe feeling very confident in making this move. So we have the moon. So maybe you're moving on because something has been revealed in your life. A veil has been lifted. Something has come out. Uh, maybe, as I was saying, so if you're going through a divorce process, Leo, maybe it was hard for you to move on. But then I feel like something was clarified and it caused you to just move on easily. Because look at Leo, so I feel like you are butting heads with your partner because if you look at the alignment of these cards, so the king and the queen of wands are facing each other, I feel like it could have been a union, a marriage. So remember that these readings are general readings and they may not apply to everyone in the, in the same way. So you have to really see in the reading what applies to you don't force it to apply but just allow it to unfold and see if it, it fits your situation because i do see like two people are butting heads they're going up against each other here and then we have the judgment card which could mean that the law came into play court issues not judgment i'm sorry justice the law is um issues were being brought before the court and maybe that's why you're going off things were revealed to you that kind of detached you or made you unattached from this situation that this conflicting energy that you were faced with <sighs> it could also feel like that's what I feel honestly so let's go forward and see what happens the Queen of Cups. So this is a Cancerian card or a water sign card. Cancerian, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. So we have two queens on the board here. Using your intuition. That's the first feeling or impression I'm getting from this card. Moving with your intuition. Being guided to the flow. Trusting. I feel like your emotions were boiling over at one point. 
that could what could be what the Queen of Wands is saying here. You were probably in a high in this state of emotions. I feel like now you feel settled, you're calm, you're trusting, you're you know, you're leading with your intuition, your your feminine essence if you're a female. I feel like I'm reading for a female Leo. Um, but it could be a male, it could be you that's here that's facing someone. All right, we soon get into that reading because I could I feel another energy here. So let's continue. You right? So you're settled now in your emotions. You're balancing, you're manifesting. So this is a three of cups. Ooh, love, like a graduation of love, celebration. Mm. Could it be marriage? As if there was something standing in the way of this connection, another person. And it needed to be over in order for someone to move on in their best self. Next card here we have the, the Queen of Pentacles. This is the third queen on the board out of four. So I feel like this is a profound reading and I'm going to have to take a minute to look at it well. Because Leo's you asked for this reading and the cards came flying out ready to give this message to you so i could be reading for a leo that has something great going on in their life and and in their life and really looking for direction so i want to give you a real profound reading the queen of pentacles stability financial blessings entrepreneurship wisdom intelligence groundedness I feel like this queen was waiting for something. See the similarity between these two queens. They're both looking into an item that they possess. One may be looking into her intuition, that is the water sign, motherly emotions, nurturing. And then the other queen is looking into her sense of self-worth, her money, all that she has accomplished to reign over this land here. Maybe someone don't want to part with their money and someone is kind of asking for that situation to occur. Wow. <laughs> all right, so you have all four queens on the board, Leo. I'm definitely going to dedicate some real time into getting a message for you. So this is the fourth queen. Queen of Swords. What is going on? Oh my gosh. Let us see if the playing cards want to say anything because I feel like the cards... Any messages for Leo's to really help to clarify this reading and give Leo's the messages that they're looking for. Thank you so much, Leo's, for being here. Hmm. Thank you so much. What's going on in Leo's energy? Thank you. Alright, so that's the five of swords. Feels like being it's not stagnant but you're at that place where you need change maybe you need to speak more you need to travel you need to move let's see if we're gonna be moving oh my god you have four queens so i feel like i'm dealing with a female leo that is at the top of her game just maybe wanting to detach from a soulmate relationship. Leo, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and kind of re-evaluate these cards here and then I'll come back and see what I've found for you. You know, someone is being challenged. There's headbutting, opposition, it could be someone of the same sex that's challenging you. Someone of a similar stature in life. As if you are, you both are challenging each other. To what? To see who will back down first. And that's why justice is here. To bring justice to the situation. 
and I see a lot there's a lot of feminine energy here on the board so as I'm saying I could be reading for a female okay so far so the Queen of Wands is that very passionate energy she's beautiful she's kind-hearted and loyal she's also very alluring and attractive so someone might find you so attractive so very attractive so the king of wands here is looking toward you so i feel like you're attracting this person toward you that's another side of the story i you know they're attracted to you the king of wands is one that typically wants to be married you know so maybe that's why they come with the justice card and they probably are rushing into you to bring justice to, to this situation and get married to you they realize possibly that you are their twin flame energy and they're not backing down so maybe you're not giving in easily even though you're being so attractive you're standing in your power i feel like you are representing all the queens here on the deck you have your money up you're emotionally confident and strong and you're also sort of blocking this connection maybe you're not ready like you're being discerning about what you choose to let into your life leo but this person is determined they've decided to follow their intuition and they're not giving up they want to come into you this person is very courageous also backed by the lion the, the strength and the courage of lions they know they feel this strong connection to you this is twin flame soulmate energy and both of you are the representing ones up here passion you probably find this person attractive as well but I feel like you're not being easy about it you're not letting in this advance easy this person is advancing so be mindful that they're coming into you with the justice they're bringing justice into you so as I said it could be marriage um, and on the other hand I feel like it could be divorce you wanting to separate from this person but they're not giving in so easily and it's causing you to maybe reevaluate I feel like if you are married to this person you're wondering what it could feel like to go off and be free but they're holding on to you look at the lineup the fool queen of cups here queen of pentacles queen of wands king of wands justice all very powerful cards yes leo i feel like you oh my gosh i feel like you could be my microphone was not on i'm sorry I feel like Leo you could be the one that is indecisive about this movement about going forward it's as if you found something out something was brought to light was revealed onto you through your intuition I feel like as a Leo you're very connected to your to your intuition you may have a water in a water sign in your chart water signs are very intuitive Leos are intuitive as well so with that combination it's like some some truth was revealed to you and it made you feel like you want to be free of this attachment with this person though you may be faced with indecision about how to move forward what life looks like it will serve you best single life or married life so you're really re-evaluating really you may have a family with this person I feel like you may have been if you know if you are married you may have been married to this person for a while and have a family at home with this person here so that's why you're very indecisive about moving forward but I feel like in yourself you're thinking you could do with with a bit of separation you're saying I'm confident I have given my life to this person I have my money I have had my career or you you have your career going your money is okay you you maybe are envisioning yourself traveling more wanting to stand in your power being separate from a cheater or a liar or someone that hurts you I feel like they feel like they made a mistake 
and they want to hold on to you as if they are saying this is a marriage and we have to stick it through you're not going anywhere The three of cards sometimes represents infidelity. And as I was saying, I feel like you found something out that want, that caused you to want to move on and away from this person. It could be that they, you know, were unfaithful to you in your relationship and you just, you found this out or you just know it and you spoke about it to this person and they maybe were denying it and you stood firm um in your approach to the situation and want to leave i know this person is chasing after you chasing after you leaving them i feel you feel very secure to leave because you do have money you're not weak i feel like you actually should stand your ground if this person deserves a chance in your life they have to really prove it work at proving it to you so yes, they're attracted to you, you're alluring, they see you as everything, like a full woman. Please be reminded that you can take this reading in reversal if you are a man going through this situation with your woman. Okay? Alright, let's get some other messages. So, you're going off, a secret was revealed, you decide you might want to be single. Oh. Oh, as if you are dreaming of a new love that's I feel <laughs> I feel you might be dreaming of a new kind of love one that has you holds you one that you're not questioning you're not worrying about there's balance equal give and take someone that really matches your vibration someone who is a leader a truth teller who is authentic you might have you might be a Leo Cups with Cancerian because this is a Cancerian card as well here, the Cups card. Or this could be a person coming around and offering love to you and you're like, no, I'm gone with the wind, fabulous. I feel like if you're like that, you could be just, <laughs> you could just be playing hard to get because you know that this person was a loser for hurting you. That's I feel like that's how you feel like you you your self-esteem wasn't lowered because sometimes in cheating or infidelity or in a situation like that we as the the ones that get affected it's it's our self-esteem that dwindles but i feel like you feel so good about yourself and you're dreaming you're already dreaming of a new connection so your person might be wanting to come around you to offer you love to show you that they can change and be the man or woman for you and you're not you're not rejecting it but you're not letting them back in at this point so soon so easily hmm. it could be that this person was offering their love to someone else and that that is what was revealed I know I don't mean to sound insensitive I do understand that these things are painful to, in, to some degree we don't want these things to happen to us but I'm just you know giving the messages and then you can really see how it relates to you but remember that you're very strong and very confident very attractive beautiful you have it all going for you this was a very dis destined relationship that you're in Oh my gosh. The <laughs> Ooh. All right, this is the High Priestess card. The High Priestess, intuitive, wise, like shamanic, prophetic energies. And it came up behind the Queen of Cups, who is looking into her little thing here. So I feel like your intuition told you about a situation you're wise you just sit there and you know that that person is not being loyal to you you know so you're looking in you're not even asking any questions you're looking in to yourself and you have the feeling that this person is out doing something that they're not supposed to do and so you call it off you blocked this person queen amazing card 
and you are right you know of course you don't deserve <gasps> that energy so behind the queen of pentacles i feel like your financial stability is unbothered you know your value you know your true worth you know what you deserve that's why i'm saying even though this person might have hurt you you're not feeling less about yourself less confident in fact you see them as the the one that messed up that effed up the situation i feel like your value your confidence your stability financially emotionally you're okay you're doing well your this queen of pentacles is literally backed by i don't know maybe money is coming into you maybe you're going through a divorce because that's what we were exploring earlier that it could be possibly a divorce and you're getting what you deserve through the justice card from this situation because this person was indeed in the wrong flinging sorry flinging themselves around with other people getting too much people involved in your relationship three is a crowd it could also well there's so many different possibilities so i'm gonna let it stay there so one possibility is you want to separate from this person that was unfaithful to you but they are trying to hold on to you you a lot of money would be coming into you if you separate because it's a marriage and that's what happens right money this is inheritance the ace of wands inheritance oh okay okay so this is here this is it it's like you're just saying just just give me what's mine and go give me my money and and get out of my life there's there there are all these queens blocking this king from coming in through you give me my money and go just give me what's what what i deserve and go and maybe that will happen and this person will still come back at you it could be i, I feel like they love you but their passion got in the way this this king for me represents someone that is overly passionate always hornery things with their penis <sighs> so there, there is not like they don't have other qualities about them that's good but this person is that kind of a man that thinks with his like he is he gets he, that he gets horny easily so it's like a woman could come to his office and tries to talk to him about business and she starts to flirt with him and he has no self-control he's like oh my <laughs> i don't want to get into that so maybe that's the type of person you were dealing with not that they don't love you now this person is wanting to rush back into you maybe because you're about to get a lump sum of money and you're holding your ground oh gosh i really hope that this message means something to you because there's so many beautiful cards out here so you could be getting separate separated from this person and going on about your single life dreaming about the because sometimes we get into relationships for it to open our eyes for what we can expect we want more like this is not the kind of love i want i want this kind of love instead you know not just someone who wants sex all the time but just that beautiful surrender teenage dream kind of love and you're dreaming this up i want to know if there's a king coming into you i really do because if you get separated from this person and you're dreaming of brand new love could it be that you're about to manifest a new love or is this this person that wants to change sometimes we end up in relationships with people that are our soulmates but they're really karmic they're here to teach us lessons i don't know if you might be losing money i hope you're not losing money but this card is really inheritance being handed to you and you have received it here so it's rightfully yours i remember doing a leo reading a few days ago and it was saying something about a divorce i know all these cards are flipping all over the place and it's looking like that a divorce this card is celebration as well the three of cups could be you getting married Feel like you're you want to look past that situation for some of you you want to put the infidelity behind you because you do have a family with this person 
but you're standing firm you like this person has to prove themselves to you but I don't see any messages really about your person if they're ready to change if they have put certain things behind them I just see that they're coming into you full speed coming into you because they're following their intuition like in their gut feeling they know that they did something wrong and either they're coming to apologize or coming to claim you back they may be coming with the law on their side they could be police officers or just court documents or something to say yo you're not separating from me I know I messed up but I'm standing firm I'm being a man here I want to save my marriage I love you this was the best union I've ever had with anyone. You're the most powerful woman I've ever come across. Four queens. Let me tell you. <laughs> they know who you are, how powerful and just amazing you are. I know, I feel like this was a mistake that they made because they sense that you are very intuitive and you're able to really uncover things. Things just come to you. Secrets are revealed to you. You don't even have to try. This person shouldn't even have tried you like that, really. So, I don't know. I feel like I want to say hear them out. Just so you can understand why they messed up. Because if this person knows how powerful you are, how beautiful, how attractive, why would they mess up knowing that you're going to find out? Because I feel like this person knows that you're that type of person that's going to find out either way. It makes me want to explore conflict resolution I don't want I don't want to go there the five of wands is conflict moving away from conflict could you be wanting to I see the six of swords is moving away I feel like this person could have hurt you for real and you're you're standing powerfully strong you're not showing the person that you're faced it's like once you move away you're able to really breathe and really be authentic to your feelings be genuinely hurt if you are moving away from conflict conflict feeling like you don't want this life you don't want to be bothered by these situations you want trust and openness and honesty could be moving into a new love all right let's explore the king oh! <laughs> okay i don't know if you want to go find someone else there's a king of cups here you could be looking i feel like this person is calling to you from them as if there is a soul connection here a soul connection with this king of cups so maybe your your intuition is saying that there is better there is the kind of love that you dream of there is the man that don't think with his penis but thinks with his heart and is a leader and is family oriented as if you're dreaming of that kind of love wondering if you're to move away now this person if you connect with them they will bring joy into your life I feel like this person is also attracted to you of course it's the king and queen of cups the magician blending blending fire molding transforming I feel like this person will come into your life and soothe you they will heal you in places that you didn't even realize you were hurt they will just soothe you like soothing jazz music in a bubble bath they know how to they're very emotional this person emotionally intelligent so they're able to look at you and say you're being defensive because you're hurt or something like that and they know how to hold you this person will just be themselves and and offer healing to you without trying that's how they are in relationships so this person comes to level you up and anyone that they they like 
deal with in relationships they level them up they literally go through relationships leveling up people that's how they are naturally without trying so they have magical energies to heal you well i feel like this person is becoming either your ex-husband or your husband no they're becoming so distant in my in my feelings as if they're drifting aside whatever force they were coming with it doesn't matter <laughs> i feel like it's not even being felt because you're dreaming of this this new king this love that you deserve not just sex but a, a man see what i'm saying oh my god <laughs> like this person is going to heal your broken heart look at this they just come in and they're like tush 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 and you're healed and they are not trying look is that that is the essence that they bring they touch you they soothe you hold you rub your feet they work magic on you in in the most natural nurturing way possible if you've always wanted a family and you didn't have one with this person over here i feel like this person will give you that beautiful family they will give you your joy and you are manifesting this it's not like you're lucky and you don't deserve this you are calling this into you you're tapping into that flow it says if you go off remember so if you go off here with the full card into your single life exploring yourself using all these money this pentacle that's in your way to really travel and live life you're going to attract this love to you and that's this this king is coming to heal this broken heart so i do feel somehow that your heart was broken and i'm sorry truly because it don't feel nice okay so oh i feel like celebrating hey this could be a card of celebrating like it's my birthday it's my party i've been healed hey i don't have to deal with these feelings anymore hey oh, <laughs> oh my god it could be you just celebrating releasing this person really sorry the king of wands girl or guy you are backed by the king of cups bringing healing transformation and well-being to your life all right, let us explore further beneath the Queen of Pentacles. This strength card. I'm saying, yo, this reading is magnificent. Powerful. You, you're... Ah. I love the combination of these two cards. It feels like... You could... You, you are that type of warrior... You're a warrior, you're a beast at your game in making money and feeling confident and leveling up your life. But I feel like at the same time, it is because you're so divinely connected to your spiritual nature. And that is what makes you strong. You're connected to an innate feeling of self-love, of value, of being grounded, of connecting with earth, of being magical. Let's see what comes up next. And that's what keeps you glowing and strong. That's what keeps money coming into you. And that's what keeps your boundaries intact with the Queen of Swords. Because you're grounded. You're very grounded. So I was saying you're not easily bothered because you are... Look at this. This is the Leo card, you know. Lion strength representing over here. The Six of Pentacles. Balance, equal, give and take. The Hierophant, Justice, uh, Marriage, probably, possibly, being strong to come out of, to arrive out of, to move from, to come up from. So it's like you went through, or you're, or you're being called to get married, the Two of Cups being called. To, to unite with this king of cups energy to leave behind a person that don't have their integrity intact but they want to come back 
into you. Maybe they see that you have moved on and they're like, I'm coming to get my woman. And you're like, nah, <laughs> don't be jealous. <laughs> don't work out of your jealousy to get me. You know you did me wrong, move on. You're saying, carry on. And they're like, where should I go? What should I do without you? Where should I go? I have all this land and this glory. It's like this person is so superficial, I feel. Very superficial person. Who looks on the surface, not deep. It's like how oh, the King of Cups is able to really die, go into his emotions. So this person's surface, looking at what they have on the external. Someone that, that's not very intuitive. Or emotionally intuitive, rather. They're passionate. They follow their dreams. They're wealthy. But when it comes to understanding emotions and holding a person in their emotions, they, they fail. And that's why they fuck up because they themselves look for validation in other people, in their penis, as if I can't, I wish I, I want to explain the feeling I'm getting from this person. This person that just walks around with their penis, that's the, their, their whole consciousness is dwelt in their pants front be rude it's just the energy that i'm getting can you imagine that type of person as long as you get what i'm saying we're good and i don't have to keep explaining it that's the type of person they're so happy go lucky even smiling on the outside a lot very flirtatious don't let me forget that one flirtatious because they're prompted <laughs> i don't want to say it again <laughs> i'm not going to oh my god leos thank you so much for being here Cards, thank you so much for presenting these readings for the Leos, Leonians. Ooh, yes. You're working on your self-love. I mean, you already have it, but I feel this card for me is you having built your love in yourself. So it can't be taken away. Stable. Stable, right? This is the card of stability, of grounded groundedness stability and you're stable in love as well in yourself you know what you deserve I kept repeating that earlier you know what you deserve in life out of life you're looking to level up yourself to give to others to serve you don't want the distraction I, I think that's you don't want to have a partner with you that's not on your level like you're telling people to have good relationships how to love themselves and your partner is over here with this this <laughs> with just just dangling this thing over here this skin makes me laugh i don't know this skin makes me laugh so we have you're very creative and intuitive this is literally all the queens coming out again for you yes yes aligning with your intuition to move so if you're wondering if there's better out there for you if you could ever move on after having children, after being married for a long time. Yes, dream up the world, my love. Dream it up. You're here diving into your intuition, forgetting about this really. Like maybe just use the past to guide you into what you want your life to be like in the future. You know, dream it up and move, act. Move in that direction. Course. thank you so much Leos. I think that was the last message for you is that all of who you naturally are is innate you are born strong powerful kind stable to make that money you know how to bring in your own money you aligned with someone you probably got married to this person they did you wrong I feel but they were your karmic partner they are your lover your twin flame energy soulmate they taught you so much that's why it was hard for you to make a decision on how to move on as if your emotions were getting in the way of you making a decision a logical worth worthwhile this person might have just kept coming back into you so that's why your emotions were in and out this moment they're like oh yes let us work on this relationship i love you so your emotions are like should i give him another chance or her should I, should I, should I, you know? But this is what happens, I feel, after you move on. Bear in mind that you are to just 
you are to be discerning of your own situation and don't take my advice or the advice from the cards to be so serious in your life just let it apply freely you know feel how you feel about the messages that's very important leo's i love this reading so much thank you so much for coming through really really appreciate your energy shining in through you have so much to be thankful for and i love it i love it so much give thanks and i will see you in the next reading and until that time take care toodles bye love you guys